I got that and it's got that wall. Top is high, fade is bald. If you want it, you can get it. All you gotta do is call. Is you trying to get faded, tapered? Wanna get fresh for the night? Call the homeboy, said it. When you're ready. And he gon' have you looking all right. East coast to the world. Let's give it up. Yeah. Yeah. Fresh feet with the line, good looking out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we're going to do a mid skin fade, leaving the curls on the top. He doesn't want to touch his length, so we're going to leave that. So I'm starting off this line about an inch, inch and a half above his ear. We're going to drop it down in the back and work our way all the way to the other side. Just make sure you do a lot of passes over the area so it's nice and even. And no rush, take your time. These clippers here are zero gapped. So we switched up to our Babeless trimmers, the silver FX's. So we're just knocking off all the hair at the bottom here. Just make a lot of passes over the area and make sure it's nice and even. So we're going up just a little bit underneath the line. You don't want to go up to the line because these clippers are lower than the ones you just had in your hand. So just take your time, stay underneath the line. A nice light flick when you get close to the top there will help transition that that line together. Then again, just let the clipper do the work. Don't push. We don't need any irritation. These are zero gap as well. So don't be afraid to hold his ear down like that. You're not gonna hurt him. You need to get it out of the way because you don't want to chew it up with the blades. Lots of passes over the area to make sure it's nice and even. So now we have the Andis shaver. So when you're close to the line, you want to go with the grain. It's going to leave it a little bit longer and it won't create the light spots. See, I'm going with the grain here. But once you get down to the bottom, it's okay to go up and meet where you left off at. This will add another level to your fade. When you flip the clipper over there, you're using that single blade there. When it sticks out a little further, allows you to get into the tight areas. Just make sure you check with your client if you can use this or not. Depending on the hair type, it's going to cause a lot of ingrowns. Let the clipper do the work and push through hair. The shaver here will add longevity to your haircut. Now we're back to the trimmer. 
just making sure there's a smooth transition from your shaver to your trimmer. So now we're going back to the clipper with the blade open. Going up about an inch, half an inch, somewhere around there. Keep this line nice and consistent all the way around. Follow your first initial guideline. And again, make lots of passes over the area so you know it's the true level you're cutting it at. Work your way up across to the other side. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. It'll help me out. It'll keep me making more videos for y'all. So now I closed it all the way, closed the lever all the way, and just opened it a bit. So I'm attacking that bottom line here. And as you move up towards your top line, you'll open your, your lever some. The higher up you go, the more open your lever is. Just take your time, work your way across. Again, let the clipper do the work, don't push too hard. When you set these guidelines in, you don't wanna dig into the head. You always want a light flick at the top. It's gonna to make an easy transition for you. And again, these clippers are zero gap. That's the only way you'll be able to get out that line from the trimmer. So as I'm moving up closer to that top line, I'm opening the lever up every time. And once I have it open all the way, I'll be at the top of that line. And then you can go back through in detail using the corners of your blades and adjusting your lever to get out any, any lines that you see. So right here I'm pointing out a line. So I close the lever, I open it a little bit, and I'm just attacking that area, lightening up that line. So here I put on my one guard and I opened it all the way. Going up about an inch to create another line. And I'll follow my previous guideline all the way around. And again, at the top of that line, you don't want to push in. You want to angle your clippers out a bit or have a, a flick. So it's not a harsh line for your next uh, clipper or your next uh, guard to get out.
lots of passes over the area guys you want to make sure it's all the proper level if you just run over it a few times there's going to be hair left and it's not going to be your true one open so now i switch to my half guard all the way open and you want to go up just underneath that top line this is just a tiny bit lower than your one guard open so you can't go to the very top just want to stay underneath it with a little flick at the top and as you move down to your initial guideline you want to slowly close the lever and you just play with that play with the lever knocking out the light and dark spots Trust the process guys if that line is not coming out you have to close your clippers and if you have your your lever all the way closed and it's still not coming out then you have to bump down to your previous level so with the half guard on that would be with the guard off with your lever all the way open you want to get in there with the corner of your blade that's how you detail get into the grooves better that way So again, lots of passes over the area. That's the only way to make that fade blurry. So here I'm playing with the corner of the clipper there to get on that line. I don't want to push the line up, so I'm on using the corner, a few teeth closer to the edge there to lighten that line up. Just take your time. The brush I have in my hand is a, uh, a wood stain brush I did of Jay-Z, uh, Reasonable Doubt cover. So here there's a line. So I close my lever, open it a bit, and just work on it. And again, if it doesn't come out, close your lever all the way. If it doesn't come out then, Take your guard off and open your lever. Hit it with the blade. Came out nicely. So now I jump back to my one guard open. And I'm just going over that top line there, nice and light at the top. And then I'll close it just a bit in case there's a line left over from your one and a half guard to your blending guard open. Lots of passes over the area. So now I jump into the two guard open. So at the top here, you want a nice flick. You don't want to go into the round of his head, the Parado Ridge there, you want to go straight up. Straight up, with a nice flick. Just removing that bulk. See, I'm flicking there. I want to make sure that I'm going straight up and not into the round of his head. You're not really creating a top line with that. It's more, more of a trying to blend into the length. And again, lots of passes. So now I switch to my one and a half guard open 
and I go up just underneath that two guard open. Basically the same thing that you did with your half guard underneath your one guard. Your one and a half guard is basically like your half guard for your level one. It helps blend in or make that transition smoother from your one guard open to your two guard closed. Lots of passes over the area. Comb the hair, brush the hair with a hard bristle brush to get the, the hair that you cut out of the way. So you can see exactly what's coming off. And to get into those grooves, use the corner of your blade. Closer you get to that bottom line, it means you have to have your lever closed. So here it's all the way closed. I'm just attacking the bottom of that line. Even though it's pretty much faded out, I still want to run over it. Make that fade blurry, guys. I like to try to get through my levels as quick as possible and then I'll spend more time on the detail. That's what's going to separate you from the others. So I just pointed out a line that I see. So I went back to my one guard. Now I'm playing with the lever to find that line. And if you're having trouble finding it, you want to open your lever all the way and slowly close it until you start hearing that hair crunch. Always stare it open. Give yourself room for error. Cutting hair is a process. You just take your time and you learn on the go every single day. So here I'm just doing some detail work, knocking out the light and dark spots, using the corner of my blade. So now we're going to blend into some of his length there. He doesn't want to touch the top at all, so I'm just going to do some uh, clipper over comb. Work up into that length, then I'll come back through with the thinning shears. And just take your time, make sure you have that comb angled out and not into the round of his head. You want to angle it out. And whatever comes through, you cut off. See that angled out, straight up. And just take your time. So here I come back through with the finish shears just to lighten up that line a bit. And that should pretty much knock it right out. 
So now I threw on my number three guard and I'm running over that area just to make it more even. That's gonna really blend it into the lens. Just don't go off too high with this guy, guys. Make sure you're going straight up. Don't go in. Make sure you guys are looking at the way the, the hair is growing, his hair pattern. You want to go against it. That way you know it's being cut evenly. So as you can see, yeah, that fades crispy. Leave her open, We're going a little higher. Every hair texture, every haircut is different, guys. You just got to trust the process. If the line's not coming out, you got to go lower. But just make sure that you're using the clipper, the corners of your clippers, when you go down to these lower guards. So here we're picking out his hair. He doesn't want to touch his lens, so we're just going to take away the edges there just a bit so he doesn't have that mushroom-type look. Make sure when you're taking this hair off that you're coming out. See, up and away. Not straight up because he doesn't want a high top. So when he wets his hair and curls it up, he'll still have some nice curls on the edge. And again, he doesn't want much off, so just more of a shape to it. come back through with the uh, finish ears. And just work your way up. Make sure your comb's angled out. So now we're on to his facial hair. He wants to leave the length of his beard. He's gonna grow it out. So we're just knocking down his mustache and we'll line it up. We'll fade the top into his fade. So I have my clippers open, no guard on, and I'm going down on his mustache. And again, I'm doing the same thing right here. Flip them over and go back up. And slowly close as you get to the top of that line. Blend into the bald. So here I have on a half guard open, just to help blend that in a little better from his length to uh, the top of his beard there. Now we're gonna shape it up. So right down the bottom where I'm at right now, make sure you guys don't cut off that corner. You want it to flare out a bit. And let your clipper do the work, don't push hard. This clipper's a zero gap and they're very sharp. And just take your time. Just following the line he already has at the bottom of his neck there. And again, let the clipper do the work. Stretch on the skin.
Now we're going to shape up his mustache. I always start above the lip and just follow the shape of the lip. And his mustache, he wants to keep wide, so we're just going to give it a little bit of shape and not cut off too much. So the front of his line here, we clipped up his hair so we can get at it easily. So I have on a half guard here closed and I'm just going down to knock the bulk off. I don't want to lighten it up too much. I just want to take off the, the overhang in here. So it gives him a clean line. So with these liners, guys, you got to take your time. They're super sharp. You don't want to push them back, so just take your time. I always start in the middle, and I usually go right to left, depending on uh, the highest point on his hair. So you just try to match the middle with the left and the right without pushing them back. Take your time. This is a graphite blade on here, the graphite 2.0. It has deep teeth, so it's better for more coarse hair. So get up in that corner there. Just make sure you don't push that corner back or give it the, the wrong angle. I see a lot of guys, they cut off that, that bottom corner there. They give it the wrong angle. That top corner where I'm at now has to be back a bit opposed to that bottom corner there at the arch. So when you're doing the point here, I like to start at the top. So I know where this arch here is going to come out at. So I'll start at the top and then I'll go down to the bottom by the top of his beard and then I'll meet in the middle. And you don't want to push them back guys. We don't need a bunch of stubble when it grows back. Try to keep it as natural as possible. At this corner where I'm at right here, that's the part I'm talking about. I see people pushing back. You want to keep that point out further than the top of the, of the corner there, by the top of his hairline. Don't want to give it that bad angle. So you want to match this point with the other side you just did. Then you go back down to the bottom by his beard and then you meet in the middle. And just take your time. It's crucial to have these points coming out at the same spot on his forehead. You don't want one up super high and then one down low. It's going to throw his hole cut off. Here I pulled the hair over his line, so I cut off anything hanging over. So now we're into the blade. You want to get a good stretch on the skin and just take your time. This is going to cut off all the hair that the, the trimmer missed. You want to make sure your blade's at a good 45 degree angle, 45, 35, somewhere around there where it glides nice and easily. Good stretch on the skin, guys. And just take your time. See that line for me. And when you're getting in here to the arch, you just want to angle your blade up a bit. Not too much, just a little bit. So the bottom heel isn't hitting your line.
just make another pass over the area to make sure that you got all the little pieces of hair, all the stubble that was left. And you switch over to the other side. Again, using the corner of the blade, just work your way down. So here we're going to add some enhancements to this line. So I don't want my enhancements to be too dark. So if you notice his beard, the color of his beard here is lighter than his actual hair on his head. So I just matched that and I used that for uh, the enhancements on the top too. And once I brush it through, it's going to be nice and light. And it'll look a lot more natural than getting in there with some dark dots. Once I spray it, I come back in and line it up before it sets. Again, just let the clipper do the work. And do some detail work. Work the snow to the other side. And guys, make sure you pull down that ear. A lot of people leave hair behind there. That's one of the biggest complaints we hear in the shop is hair being left behind the ears. So always double check. So we just switched over to the other side. I didn't show uh, me spraying it. Show the, the detail work. So here's the cut guys, I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. This is a, a mid fade to the skin, curls on the top. Added some enhancements just to sharpen it up. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Appreciate you guys for watching. Give me a follow on IG at Sebi the Barber. I do a lot of tips and tricks on there. A lot of quick videos. Give me a follow, guys.